<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. Yeah. J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? Hey everybody, it's Sean Mayo here, and we're going to go over in depth and, and take a, a, a really close look at your keep a graph. Uh, and today I'm looking at um, this Gillette deodorant product. It really doesn't matter what the product is, uh, but I just wanted to uh, give you a good guide on uh, exactly what everything is going on and what to look for uh, on a specific product. Uh, so uh, this is the Keepa extension, uh, but I'm going to go over to the actual Keepa site uh, so we can really look at uh, what's going on here. Uh, so right now I'm uh, I'm scrolled out all the way to uh, as far back as it's been tracked, which is 1,419 days. Uh, you know, a little over three and a half years. Uh, this practice has been tracking, and it, you know, it's been all kinds of different prices. Um, you can see it's been as high as $15 being sold by Amazon themselves uh, in 2012, and the lowest was in December for $5.26. Uh, currently, it's it's sold out, and uh, it's sold out actually a few times. We're going to zoom in, and the way we zoom in, uh, I'm going to go back out here so you can see, but you can select with your mouse uh, any uh, area you want to look at. So uh, you just hold the mouse cursor, uh, the button down, and select it, and uh, when you let go, it's going to zoom in on that area. Uh, and you can just click on all again to zoom back out. So we're going to zoom in on this area here that uh, Amazon's been sold out on. Uh, and you can see uh, at the same period last year, uh, it was sold out. Um, so if we come over here uh, to this area, um, looking at uh, somewhere around uh, the middle of April till now, um, and it's the beginning of July. So what we're going to uh, look at here is these, the solid orange line, what this means, and uh, you do have a key over here. The orange line means uh, Amazon's price. So uh, you can turn any of these on and off by just clicking on the buttons. Uh, and we can see every time Amazon is sold out. So if there's no orange here at all, that means Amazon was sold out of the product and they weren't selling it. And we can click on the list price. List price never changes. Um, that's there. We'll turn it back off. And uh, the green is uh, the sales rank. So you have to be very careful when you're looking at this graph. As you can see on one side is prices, on the other side is sales rank. So some things are set by price, other things are set by uh, the sales rank. Uh, so the green line, of course, is uh, sales rank, and if you hover over anything, it's going to highlight that thing, uh, just so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, we can turn any of them on and off by just clicking on them, and it will reset the graph a bit. Um, you know, if it's going to change the highs or the lows, it will zoom in a little bit more. So um, one of the great things about Keepa is that it's going to show you the intersection of rank and pricing. Uh, so if you use other sites like Camel, 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 or Tractor, or any of the other ones that, that do a similar job, uh, most of them are not showing you an intersection. So you can see exactly what the Amazon price is at the exact uh, same time uh, in coordination with the rank. Uh, now, there's really no used, you, you're rarely going to see used unless it's from Amazon Warehouse Deals um, and health and beauty and grocery items because you just can't sell those items in used condition. Now I'm going to turn these items off so we can just look at them one at a time. Right now we have everything turned off. Um, so I'm just going to turn on the Marketplace New. Now as you can see, just like Amazon, uh, if it's sold out, then... Uh, there's 
there's a, just a space there. So you can see any time that Amazon um, has been sold out, and you can also see any time that a third-party seller has been sold out. So I uh, zoomed in on this area um, of May to where uh, Amazon uh, third-party sellers had it in stock um, and sold out a few times and came back in stock. Currently, this product is completely sold out um, by third-party sellers. So uh, right around this point uh, in the middle of February, there's been uh, no third-party sellers uh, on the listing at all. Uh, so, so if we turn that off and just look at used, uh, as you can see, there was a couple very tiny spots um, where it was marketplace uh, third-party seller used, which was probably um, Amazon's uh, warehouse deals because they sell the used and damaged products um, that aren't able to be sold as new or returns or whatever they may be. Uh, but a regular third-party FBA seller, uh, we wouldn't be able to sell those. So I'll go ahead and turn these, uh, these on and now for the bottom graph as you can see here uh, what this does is it tracks the amount of third-party sellers uh, at any time by um, what they call it is a new offer count. So this is showing you how many uh, new offers there were uh, at any time uh, to match with the pricing. So, uh, you know, if it's a hot selling toy, it's been up and down, you can see that, you know, when there was 200 sellers on it, the price was way down, and as the sellers ran out, the price may go up, the rank may go up. Uh, you know, so it's a good indicator of um, supply and demand. Uh, now these buttons here at the bottom, you can see uh, the statistics button uh, is, is really useful. Uh, the first column, which is uh, says Amazon in gold, is going to so show you the lowest price Amazon ever sold it for, what they're currently selling it for, uh, their highest price they've ever sold, and the average over the last 90 days. The other uh, the other entries are uh, all-time numbers, but the average is only for the past 90 days, and uh, the amount of price drops, uh, as well as uh, the marketplace sellers in new, in used, and of course sales rank. The lowest sales rank, it was number one uh, last March. And uh, the current rank is uh, number three overall in this category, and the highest was 20,000. So the average in the last 90 days is 6,900, and uh, the amount of price drops that it's had. The next item uh, is going to be this globe, and it's for comparing Amazon prices. And what this does is it compares Amazon prices in uh, different locales. So. Uh, it's quite useful if you're selling on multiple marketplaces, uh, you know, U.S. or U.K., um, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, um, China, India, Canada. Um, it doesn't look like they, um, they do Mexico yet, um, because a lot, a lot of us sellers are in Mexico and Canada uh, since they've merged the marketplaces. So uh, this item will show you if the ASIN's in uh, multiple locales, it will show you all that information from uh, the multiple places. You can click on uh, each country if it's available there, and it's going to show you uh, the link, as you can see here. It will take you right to that page. Um, Share the um, price history graph uh, that's going to let you copy and paste this link, uh, and then you're going to be able to use um, you're going to be able to really be able to share that graph, uh, email it to somebody, send it on Facebook, whatever uh, you need to do. Uh, and less historical data is going to remove the bottom uh, graph. Uh, if you're not interested in that information, then um, you can just uh, close that out. Um, over here uh, is the range, uh, what you want to look at, you want to look for the last day, week, month, three months, year, or everything available, which could only be a couple days, it could be negative one when it's just become active, 
Um, up here, this is going to show you always the Amazon price if there is one. Um, last time it was updated, uh, you can request for uh, it to be updated again. And uh, the last time there was a price change, um, as well as the main contact information. And if you want to go back to look at it on Amazon, if you maybe just looked up an ASIN, uh, you can click here, and it's going to take you to the Amazon page. Um, and this is also a very important one. Now, Track This Product uh, is, a, is a great one because, uh, and I believe we went over this in the other videos, uh, I won't spend too much time on this, but this is uh, the notification section. So, uh, you can, once you're in the product, just click on Track Product. You can either choose your desired price with this, um, with this bar that you can move. It's also going to tell you how much cheaper uh, than the current price it is in a percentage. Or you can just enter the price. Um, and there is three options, so it's going to let you know when an Amazon price reaches a certain amount, uh, a new price, or a used price, uh, and you select whichever ones. Um, if you want to click here, for you can track uh, multiple Amazon locales. You can click on uh, which ones that you want, uh, and it will also track them, and it will contact you however you want. So Twitter, Facebook, email, you can click on Start Tracking, and uh, now it's being tracked, and then you can click on this uh, Tracking Overview page, and it will show everything uh, that you're tracking. Uh, and then, of course, to find rele relevant deals, you can see uh, this in detail. It really... Um, it's only going to show you products that may be similar to what you're looking at, um, but this is the price drops uh, page, uh, which we've made a whole video uh, in the training uh, for. So if you want more information on that, uh, please go to that video.